Hey guys, you go to SPG or one of the left on the bottom of the park of the third. Our last part, we did a side quest to put all the match points on the character. In this chapter, we're going to do chapter 19, the Dragon Cave. Sorry I skipped over the chapter, I was just kind of... I didn't restart this chapter, and usually when I restart a chapter, I like to just... I shouldn't do this, but I always like to just skip the text over this so I can get to the game. I kind of wish I don't do that, because I, I want you guys to at least know the story. Because this story for the game is actually interesting. But like I said, it's pretty simple, you know. I'm trying to go after him with that. Anyway, Epidog has come and trying to take Ninian. So he's just going to mock everyone, you know, like he always does. And now Hector's being all mad, and like, I'm going to kill you. And then he misses. I don't get how he teleports. That makes no sense. He's like, I'm going to teleport. Haha. Uh -huh. I really know that's impossible. I wish I could teleport. I think everyone was able to teleport. That'd be so useful in real life. But then you could just wake up like at like um if you're trying to go to high school or whatever and your school starts like seven, you can just like teleport there and once you wake up like six fifty nine to your class. Well not six fifty nine because unless you're like one of those guys that like to wear clothes their school clothes before they sleep, which I know no one that does that. I guess in case if you do that, you know, I guess it'd be kind of convenient, but I like to be kind of ready when I wake up and stuff, because usually, um, whenever I wake up, well, I'm on a high school now, so I have to start waking up a more early, but I used to, my bus, I arrived at like 8.53 or 54, 50, 8.50, like near 9 o'clock, so I usually woke up at like 7 or 8, and then just really kind of just chillax, you know, because... I like being awake before I go to school. Not like I used to when I went to elementary school. I would just wake up like 10 minutes before the bus came. Because I didn't. I, I don't know. Anyway, for the chat, um, uh, uh, units, you're probably going to want. You're going to want about. You don't want Matthew or whoever else, else you plan to use. Because Matthew's going to be pretty useful. There are like four tests. Four tests. It's like five. I was wrong. But um there's gonna be another thief on the battlefield that's gonna steal stuff and most likely the thief's gonna steal two of the um, northern chests. So you only get to only get three, but those three are pretty useful. I recommend you get them. And you can recruit that thief also. Spoilers I guess. Um if you're wondering who you're gonna need, um you're gonna want uh, um Elliewood. You can recruit the guy with Elliewood, Hector, and Holmes. So I think you're supposed to bring those three lords as well. I don't think you can not use them. At least. Anyway. And now I'm saying he's gonna say, "Hey, can I kill the boss?" Like him. So yeah, I'm gonna kill the boss. I'm saying. As you know, it's from that little cut I did. Um, I didn't reserve this chapter from that profile because I died. So, um, you may know it's like Canis, is he's not actually here. I decided when I got when I did this, I decided not to use him because I didn't really feel a need to. So I didn't use him. Um, so if that bothers you, well, I'm sorry. I didn't want to show my favorite time. Because this chapter is long enough, you know. It's really long. The reason it's not like the battles is really that long, but it's just um, the post dialogue stuff is so long because this is, a, this is an important plot chapter. I probably won't be able. To, I won't talk as much when it comes to the get right there because it is important stuff, and I do want you guys to at least know what like what's going on. Cause then I'll be like, you get you know nothing. So if I ever get quiet during the cutscenes or when I really cutscenes, I never really had cutscenes for Game Boy Advance games. Um, but anyway, uh, um, you can just read the dialogue. I think I went over it pretty good. I knew that was pretty important, so I was like, I'm not gonna skip over. It. Um, the, uh, that Cameron guy, he will attack you if you get into his range. So I recommend you have someone with a horse slayer or a, a wolf bale or a halber because they can just destroy the place. This chapter itself is kind of difficult because, um, there's like a lot of, uh, horseback units, so that's why I said you want to, you might want to bring a halberd, wolf bale, or horse leg, those, you know, those stuff are pretty useful. 
And here we're gonna meet the guy we can get, um, uh, recruit. His name is Lo Joel. Don't know really how you pronounce that name, so I'm just gonna call him the Hurricane. That sounds pretty awesome. Anyway, you can recruit him, like I said, with three lords. Doesn't matter who you recruit him with, it's not gonna change anything as long as you recruit him. I recommend recruiting him if, if you're, if you, if you did not train Matthew. Because I really didn't feel like using Matthew. I don't really feel like using Thieves in the game of Vinci, which I've been over a lot of times. But it's just, I want to talk about it more. Oh yeah, if I was doing a lot of commentary, I'd probably talk more about the gameplay, but it's like, if you're doing a Fire Emblem game, it's pretty easy not talking about the gameplay, because it's pretty obvious, you know. It's still kind of like if you're doing a Mario game, but you're not doing it on live, you can just do posts where you're like, talking about whatever you want to. And like, if, if the occasional boss comes along, just be like, this is how you beat him. And you really don't have to tell him. But if you're doing live, you're gonna have to change that thing. This is what I mean, you know. So usually when I, if I do live from I really don't talk about other things. I try to, but it's kind of annoying too, because it's kind of like me concentrating on stuff. In post, you can just really talk about anything you want, because the gameplay's already recorded, which is nice. Well, the reason I do post right now is because, um, Fire Emblem game, I really can't do live, because I, I need to get too sidetracked. Once I do an RPG, which I'm, you know what, I probably know what, I know what it is now, because I've narrowed it down. I'm not going to tell you because I plan to be secret, but, you know, once this thing is over, I'm, well, I'm going to do it. And it's called this game, I think. Even though it is a thing, I, I, I can't really call it anything else. I can call it a game, but, nah, I don't really want to. There are also, um, a lot of cracked walls here. Um, also, you want to bring out door keys or test keys, whatever you have, and give them to, like, a unit that's going to be your uh, lowest level. Um, mine was... Ironically, Hector. So I gave it to him, and he really, um, like, I really like using Hector when he gets under load because it's just fun to kill everything with him. The only downside is, um, that, uh, the, uh, his skill sometimes kind of gets annoying if you're trying to attack someone out with a sword. This is like, he won't have that good of an accuracy, but usually he'll have them. Usually he will. Now Hector's level 15 with that crappy level of. I've noticed though when I first um, played through this game, most of my uh, uh, units were actually this high of a level. They were actually like the 14s, 13s, and now we're like the 15 and stuff. It's kind of nice to see that. I'm not really worried about my units that much. Uh, Low wind, the only thing I want with him, if I ever get an injury, I'm probably going to give it to him because he needs his trench more than anyone. Um, I could give it to Guy, but it's just once he promotes, he's going to have a higher critical percentage. If you have a killing edge with him, you have like 50% most of the time. That's pretty useful, so I'm probably not going to give it to him. Saying he doesn't yet at all. He has like 18 health. Wow, it's just Yeah, look at that. 18. That's, that's ridiculous. But, you know. Lowen, he has like 14 defense, which is not that bad. Like I said, he was more of the defensive kind, but. I don't know, when I first played through, he had more. He had like a lot of good uh, offense. So. I want speed and offense with him because I know like if he promotes he's probably gonna get that as well. I'm not as worried about that one. But if I didn't give it to anyone, it's probably gonna be him. Because I can't think of anyone who else or anyone I can give it to that'll be more useful. Because Rebecca, she can do a hefty amount of damage already. Elliewood, he doesn't really need it. He's doing pretty good damage. Lynn, he's dominating everything in your sight. Hector, he doesn't need it. Er I don't know, I, his magic I haven't really looked at it that much. The thing is good, he's doing pretty good damage to most of the units. I'm not really that worried about her. I'm not, most of my units are turning out pretty good, especially uh, Florina. It's been a really pleasant surprise. Because um, her strength is really hot for, for Florina. Like, it, like, it's like 13, 12 maybe? It's like, it's pretty good for Florina. I'm surprised. Because usually when I use her, it's like 10, 9 by this point. I'm, I'm either getting lucky or I'm just, Because um, Fiora, she's supposed to be the one that has like, a lot of strength and stuff. Even though she's the second best. I guess it's not. Oh, that's what I heard from the Fire Monkey. I don't know if that's in my opinion. I only really like to use... Whenever I do a Fire game, I always like to think of a team. So sometimes I don't like playing new Fire Monkey because it's kind of hard to decide who I want to use. Because there's any Dawn I really know who I want to use. 
I won't tell you my full team because I really don't feel like it. And if I ever do a let's play farm raiding dawn, I'll tell you then, but I won't now. I'll probably have a raid, that'll make more sense if I did that first. But yeah. I thought though it'd be cool if um, raiding dawn had online. That one, I think that was released before Shadow Dragon. I think Shadow Dragon is like the newest one now. Maybe that's not that new, but it was. So I'm guessing Shadow Dragon is the newest one. Could be wrong though, maybe Rain Dawn came out before, after Shadow Dragon, my bad. But I don't think so, so. But Shadow Dragon does have online, I've heard of that, but I don't know how it really works. Like, I read the um, review from IG and they were saying the online is nice, keeps your tactics up, or something like that. So I don't know if the online is, but I'm gonna assume it's like you choose units or something. And I don't know. But I think it'd be cool though. Like, my idea if you have Shot Dragon, tell me what the um, online is like, if you ever played it. Because what I thought it would be like is like you choose units, like maybe from the storyline. And you can do like, maybe like you can make your own map or something like that. I don't know for sure. I know I can just look up a video about it, but I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of burping, but it's kind of. I just ate dinner. I don't know what I had at McDonald's because McDonald's is pretty good. Is in every fast food restaurant pretty good though? I don't think so. You know, I don't eat a lot though. I really. I only really eat it when my grandparents are gonna not be at the house or make dinner. So, usually we eat it once my. Once we don't have enough time to eat it. I like that. Once we don't have uh, enough time cooking or anything like that. So, usually I don't eat make, uh, fast food restaurants, but if we do, it's usually either uh, Domino's or. Uh, or McDonald's. Those three are pretty close. Domino's kind of is it's like 20, 15 minutes away. Because Pizza Hut's actually the closest one. Because it's like near the McDonald's. So they have like a Publix and it has like a pizza like next to the sandwich Subway. So usually my options are really, really Subway, Pizza Hut, or Domino's, and um, McDonald's. Um, I really don't eat from Burger King or Taco Bell, but I like Taco Bell. That's some good stuff. I like Mexican food a lot. If I change my um my race for a Pacific food, I'll probably go with Mexican or Hispanic. Cause I like Hispanic food a lot. Like I really like it. Italian would probably be my next choice. Cause I like pasta. Like I can just eat that up all day. If I had to choose between those though, that'd be hard because it's kind of like they have they're both different in a way because Mexican food or Hispanic food. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone by saying Mexican food, but, you know, like, where I'm, Amer I'm American, they don't really tell me the difference. I'm guessing it's Hispanic, though, but, they really, it's kind of more, Hispanic food's a bit more different. Italian food, I don't know, maybe I'm just being stereotypic. Oh, man, push it out with that. Uh, stereo, like a stereotype, but I'm gonna assume most Italian meals consider having like pasta and seafood and stuff like that. I don't really go to that many uh, Italian restaurants, so I don't know for sure, like, to tell you the truth, but you know. Anyway, I made another cut there because my grandpa, he interrupted me, and if you're wondering how, um, I'm trying to get an Indian visa. Cause I want to go to India for uh, January for uh, my cousin's wedding, so I get to see up to school for that, which is pretty nice. You know, this is my first year of high school. I'm just glad it's not the first day. Cause one time I went to England and um, I was going like I went to England and uh, never mind. I'll talk about that later. We gotta support what Elliot and Lynn um talk about. Apparently, um, Ellie was talking about. I mean, Lynn's like, hey, you're pretty good sword, and then she's like, how did you do this? And Lolly was like, oh, I'm just, you know, my dad taught me, and then Marcus taught me, and then uh, I fight with um, Hector all day, you know, every once in a while. I always thought, though, if, like, Ellie would attack, uh, fought Hector, he would always win. Like, if you just beat off the weapon triangle, he's gonna destroy him. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Well, I don't know. It depends. Question of the day, who's your fair lord in this game? Haha. Mine is probably going to be... Probably Hector, because... 
Lynn, she's cool, and I'm not saying she's a bad person or anything. She's cool. Like, she's her own little thing going on with her. Hector, he's... Ellie was kind of like the, um... The usual prince guy. He's like, I'm gonna help everyone out. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just kind of like, you know, it's been there, done that kind of thing. So, yeah. Anyway, um, we're kind of getting to the end of this chapter. As you see, there are a lot of reinforcements. And by this point, you may think, go 10. What are you going to do about Merlin his tent? Um, I, I don't know. I kind of, I knew there would be reinforcements, but I didn't think they'd be showing up at the bottom. I was like, expecting at least where, like, most of the guys are, but... Well, we get to see how long Merlin has survived. So once Merlin is to get tapped, I'm going to keep a count of how many times he had survived a turn. So yeah, something to look forward to. I suppose. Ah, recording. Anyway, um, what's there to talk about? Um, uh, Lee Galt. He's a thief. Yeah, the boss, um, Cameron, he's pretty easy, just use a horse slayer or whatever and kill him. Like, it's really easy, um, the Laos dude, he's a bitch, and he's not that challenging, he's just a bit annoying, because he can actually hurt you. Um, he's a general, so like, magic users and stuff like that works out pretty well. He's, um, I'll, I'll show his weapons later. But yeah, this chapter went by swimmingly because I wanted it to. Surprisingly, I'm actually getting kind of lucky. I'm not really having that much trouble with the chapters now. I'm reading them in at least one, two, or three tries. So that's pretty nice. I did the next chapter is going to be really easy. Because I did that one my first try. Legit. So that's pretty awesome. And if, also, if you're wondering, Goten, if you're going to kill the guy with Saint, why is he all the way at the bottom? Um... If, if that's how you guys talk, oh, that's interesting. Um, um, I kind of forgot about that, because you usually forget about that kind of promise. It's like, oh, I'm just going to go on with the chapter, and I don't really care that much. But yeah, I, I did. I'm not going to spoil who got the kill with, but saying, I did move him back up because I realized, hey, I'm, I'm going to kill You don't have to kill him with him. If you are wondering, guys, do not have to kill him with saying. It's just, you don't even get anything if you kill him with Saint. It's kind of a rip -out. Don't even kill him with Saint if you don't want to. If you like Saint a lot, then go ahead. <sighs> Sorry for that. I was drinking my water because I'm thirsty. As you can see, Legal, he's going to steal that stuff. I don't know how else you can get that. Um, Maybe if you use Marcus and rescue him with, uh, if you rescue Matthew, maybe, but... It's not really worth it, because if you can recruit him, you get all of his stuff. So it's like, you know, who really cares? But yeah, most of my units are turning out pretty well. Uh, Sane is doing alright. Doing alright. Um, I wish he had a bit more skill, but like I said, that's his downfall. Okay, Merlin's got attacked, so that's one turn. One turn he survived, so. Let's keep that in mind. I, I swear I'm going to lose count, because I know I am. But that's one. Yeah, Merlin is, um, he did get attacked, I kind of forgot, so I, guess, I guess I could have used Cage for that part, but he would probably be dead, I would assume, because, like, um, he didn't have that good of a defense, and, yeah, and there are going to be, I don't know if there's reinforcements yet, but once I see a clarification of there's reinforcements, I'll tell you more why it's not a good idea to use Canis. Over there, I actually accidentally chose to attack the wall. Because, I don't know. I kind of hate how they have the cracked walls. I know it's useful, but it's kind of like... I don't really see a reason to it. Like, unless you're like Elliewood or Hector or Lynn or over there, then maybe, but they're not, you know? Anyway, I was kind of worried about Guy because his HP is low. And I was, thought, and I was thinking, like, um, it'd be kind of bad to have him attack that guy because... um. If he did 10 damage to him, he would have 2 HP left. And if he attacked him again, I don't know if he would survive. I thought maybe there might be another reinforcement. But since you're seeing this, you obviously know he survived. Spoilers. 
I thought that was weird though, like people, sometimes people will see spoilers like, after they see the spoiler, it's not like they're going to see it before, it's kind of like, why would you do that, dude? Anyway, we, on my guiding ring, so I might ask, that's the reason why I recommend you get him, because he's a pretty useful thief if you don't want to train Matthew, or don't want to train thieves in general. Okay, he got attacked again, so that's two times, twice. Yeah, Pegasus Knights do come. And that's why um I don't like using Canis or magic units. Because if you learn from that old guy a couple of chapters back, he said Pegasus and Knights usually have high resistance. So don't recommend using Canis. Um Marcus would work out swimmingly. Dart, you know, whoever you want to use, you know. Oh man. So um uh Fire Emblem, uh, I'm gonna continue this LP. Probably gonna finish. And probably next week, I'm gonna assume. I'm hope. I really hope. And if you're wondering why I'm kind of hoping this LP is not, because I, I like Fire Emblem. It's one of my favorite video game franchises. Probably in the top 10 or 20. But it's like, sometimes it's just I can't, I can't play this game over and over again. But like, I can, but it's kind of like, I can do that with a lot of other games I would choose to do rather. Like, um, Wind Waker, I, that's my favorite game of all time. I can just play the game over and over again without even getting bored. Or, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon, mate, I, I don't know. I can get bored with Pokemon in a while, but if I actually want to play, I, I just get hooked on it. I'll just finish this entire thing in like probably two days. Depends on how long I play, because if I play Pokemon Black, uh, or, or, or right, you can have white version, but I, I have black because I like black. Now it's because um, it's not because of the whole. Okay, that's uh, three turns you survived. Three could be four, but I'm gonna assume it's three. Merlin has survived. Um, I got black because I thought that many too many people were getting white just because of Zekrom. And in all honesty, I think Rushram has actually been more better than him. It could be my personal opinion. It is my personal opinion. Because, um, right from he is, um, more special attack and special defense. While, uh, Zekrom has physical attack and physical defense. The thing is, though, is, like, Zekrom, when you, when you get him, he only has, like, a couple, um, physical attacks. He only has, like, one or two. While right from he already has three, you know, right off the bat. That's pretty nice. So that's why I like using Rush Rhyme more, because usually dragons, really their main physical attacking move is going to be Outrage or Dragon Claw. But they don't really have that many other kind of good physical attacking moves. Except for those two. I mean, if you want to count Dragon Tail, uh, I don't know. Dragon Tails, I guess, is good, I suppose, but it says it only does 60 damage, so. I don't know. I guess for like a Dragon Gym, it would work out, but. Dragons. One of my favorite types of Pokemon, favorite uh, type of Pokemon, if you're all wondering, it's probably grass. I just really like grass types for whatever reason, you know. Probably because um the anime kind of influenced me for that. Because I, I really enjoyed watching the anime when I was a kid. I'm only 14, so it's still going on right now. But, okay, that's like, I think, five or four now. Turns he I think it's five. I believe it's five turns he survived now. Anyway, I talked with Ellie Wood to get La Girl, La Gal, La Jewel, Tornado, I mean a Hurricane. Yeah, I can't get anyone's name right. Anyway, he's actually pretty good. If you didn't train Matthew, you can use him and for because he has really good speed. Um, lucky I means luck. So he'll be able to dodge a lot of uh, attacks and stuff. So he's pretty useful. Um, he's a better thief in my opinion as well. So. Yeah. And two ways. I also talk about the Pokemon. So I don't know why I'm talking about that. Um, I really enjoyed watching it. Really, I started watching it really kind of one third of the way through Sinnoh. I kind of got bored with it. And I really got bored with it. Um, during that time, I didn't, we didn't have cable. Um, we did, uh, wait, we did have cable, but the thing was, on uh, my cable, we had Cartoon Network at like one channel. And I think that channel got sold, or it changed, and we had like this weird movie show. That's five, that, that six turns you survived. We had like, uh, I forgot what it was called, but it's like a movie show. 
And so Cartoon Network got replaced by you had to buy like a um a package or whatever for it to actually use it. And um so I never, I I really did, I couldn't watch Pokemon anymore because they didn't have any other um TV shows. If I actually looked through my cable um there were certain like really weird channels that actually had Cartoon Network in them. It was too much of a hassle for me, or I was just too lazy to actually like remember what the name was. So I never really watched Pokemon through that. I was trying to get to the fifth gen, but it was kind of like eh, I didn't really want to. So I was like like, like the first five episodes, but I was kind of like eh. Okay, that's seven times you survived. Ah oh, man, I swear Merlin just is awesome. That's the thing I like about Merlin, though. So, like, he can, like, uh, dodge a lot, because his luck is, like, the main thing that goes up in his HP, so. Like I said, if you raise Merlin, he's, he can dodge a lot of attacks. Unfortunately, though, I couldn't get that many kills, though. Okay, uh, let's see how Merlin can do this time. Oh, dang, he's, not, he's probably going to die. Yep, he's probably going to die. Oh, no, he's not. Merlin just wants to live. Okay, that's, I think, eight turns now, so that's... Pretty nice. So, you know. Oh, man. But yeah, we're getting to boss time. I brought Tane along, and we're about to get boss time. I mean, if, you're re if you're wondering why I showed Merlin Stein, because I've never shown it before. Thing is, um, he would just escape. Go just run away. You get to use him next chapter, so don't be frightened if if he dies. So the only bad thing if he dies is is um is uh is that um uh man oh he doesn't need to level up. Okay, so that's the bad thing about him if he doesn't. So yeah, I was looking at the lowest level um lore because I was thinking hmm. Who can do the most damage? <laughs> I ended up using a little way to weaken him down a bit. Or maybe it was Lin. It probably was a lot of Lin because that would just make the most sense. But yeah, um. So yeah, um, I attacked with Lin. Because I wanted to. I actually wanted to get a critical one Lin because that would make Sane's life a lot more easier. But I did, he I didn't. It, it, it didn't ha it didn't work out. I wonder if you actually attack him with uh, the hurricane, if he would they would be special dialog. I'm gonna assume probably, but maybe I'm wrong. Ugh, man. The next chapter is gonna be. I don't, I want to say it's going to be long. We actually had a, a new unit in that chapter, which is pretty nice. Do do do. Do do do. So I'm going to attack him insane. But we both miss, man. Blows. That really does suck if you miss both times. I really hate that. It's so annoying. It's like, come on, dude. You like, you know, 50% chance. I was lucky that we actually went to his hand axe. Because, uh, as the weapon trigger would state, um, swords beat axes. So, I got lucky there with Eliwood. He actually dodged one. I think he would have probably died. I believe. He, I don't know. Maybe. He probably wouldn't. Uh, I was assumed he would. So, yeah. As you can see, where I can kill him. The thing is, he has one HP. If you want to get the kill, get the kill with the lowest level of person you want. Whoever that may be. Could it be Yurk? I don't know. Could it be someone else? Probably. Oh man, oh. I'm sorry guys. I'm just kind of tired. I had a kind of long day. Cause I was recording this, and I hate when it's like thundering here. Cause I live in uh, Florida, and it's, uh, people think it's a sunshine day, but it rains a lot. Not a lot, but it rains a lot in summer. Like these thunderstorms, and it's so annoying because a router, um, sometimes in a thunderstorm, will stop working. And so, like, um, it gets kind of annoying. It is annoying. And, um, it's like, you will be out with, you'll be, like, on for engineer for, like, good minutes. 
<laughs> a good minute. I got like five minutes. And it's kind of just annoying just kind of waiting for it to go back. I don't know, I'm probably not the most patient man, but so. Anyway, I'm gonna actually shop at the store for once since Let's Play. Uh, sorry for the noises if you can hear them. Um, I'm just moving around. So apparently we're gonna bring Ninian and uh, Lord Albert back. Can't believe I forgot his name though. God, man, I really don't remember these characters as much. Sigurd's son and like everyone. I I like Sigurd's son more just because I like the characters more. And the gameplay is pretty nice too as well. Uh, can't wait to do my Secret Stones Let's Play though. It won't be my it won't be my next one if you are wondering. That's probably my it's probably my fifth or fourth one. If it does happen, it's probably gonna be next year. If not, it's gonna be December or near Christmas time. Because um, I want to get a bit more subscribers because I want to do some uh, voting polls and stuff there. And because Sacred Stones allows you to do that, so I want to get more subs subscribers and viewers to actually participate in them. Not that I'm saying you guys are bad or anything, I'm just kind of saying, like, if I had more, like, like, if I had, like, you know, a good 20 by then, you know, I probably would because, you know, it's nice. Because I don't want to, like, you know, no one comment on a question I ask about, like, which thing I should do, you know, because I don't want to be, like, kind of waiting, wasting your guys' time. Anyway, a dragon, a dragon man. I, I'm, I, I, I'm scared right now. I'm gonna die. So yeah, apparently Ninian's the key to getting dragons. So remember that, guys. If you steal a little girl, she can summon dragons. Life lesson number three, number one. So yeah, L. The um, if you're wondering, how do I stop this girl go tent? Just bring a little brother. If she doesn't have a little brother, you're just screwed, man. The dragon's gonna eat you up. Anyway, apparently the dragon's going while Berserk and Ephedal just got left behind. I don't know if he dies, cause I don't think he dies, because you actually. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. But I don't know. I, I, he doesn't die. Spoilers. But yeah, Nagal, or Nagel, or the guy with the tunic. It's gonna attack us. And now, Ober, for his last stand, it's gonna stab him in the back. Is it his last stand? I don't know. Probably isn't his last stand. That'd be pretty intense. <sighs> so, yeah, apparently he's gonna die. The thing is stupid. They, they really don't explain how he dies. Um, I always thought he died because maybe Jafar's attacked maybe made him bleed to death. But it's a sad moment, you know, Ellie Wood's crying over his dad. You know. It's not sad, you know what I mean? Like he just wasted like a good couple of days in his life to see his dad die, you know? That's just sad. You know, I can't imagine my dad my dad died like that, you know. Okay, this is Go to SP2 where we're saying audios.